I uh, I think it was uh, I was in the fourth standard or something, and one of the teachers came and said that whispered in, the, in another teacher's ear, and they said uh, you have to go home. And then I went back home, and then discovered that I fought. But he was ill for almost four years, so our family had got used to you know that he was suffering. So in a way, it was he was relieved of the pain, and. Um, and by then you you almost got death is something you know but but still you you got it's it's a slow process in your mind which you started living with it and says this is life but I can still remember the me uh, cremating him and setting him on fire I was as young as nine and um, so that's one imagery which some imagery in your life never goes off it was three dark you know, funeral places where people cremate with with, with sticks and, and things and unforgettable. <laughs> does this memory still haunt you? It does haunt me and then it, it, it makes you understand life better because it all happened at the very early, early stages of my life. It, it does give you something else which a normal kid could never would have had. So did you even know what was going around you when your father passed away? It's a space which I don't want to remember. <laughs> it's a very dark phase of my life, I would say. And uh, But a lot of good things happened after that. So in a way, I feel that I'm unworthy of many things which has happened to me. And you know, all the good things which has happened to me. And I'm really... Uh, Grateful to God and my family and all the people who pray for me. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.